Let's discuss critical thinking on the January 6th investigation into the insurrection of January 6th, 2021. Hopefully you've been watching the hearings. There's been two hearings so far, as you know, and uh, the, the evidence, there's been a lot of evidence presented, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people have spoken, they did, they've done over a thousand interviews. So here's my critical thinking question to you as someone who follows mental toughness. And I wanna preface this with something that is contextual, and that's, it requires mental toughness to maintain critical thinking when it comes to politics because it's emotional. I really don't care about your, your political party. I care about your opinion on whether this investigation is going to make history or it's just hype. Is it for real? Are you watching it? Are you watching both sides? You know, I'd recommend checking out Fox News and checking out MSNBC and checking out CNN and all the other places that you get your news. Do a balanced set of research. As a critical thinker, we can't afford to let emotion impact our thinking. And most people in America are, are so emotionally, they're drunk with emotion, left, right, and center. Doesn't really matter which party. And our country is in peril, as you know. This is very important, okay? And something else I wanted to suggest to you is reading the, President Trump, former President Trump just issued a 12 page uh, rebuttal, or you might call it, on the investigation. Obviously, he's not too happy about it. It's making him look pretty bad. And so I want to know, I, I recommend reading this. I think every American should read this to see what the former president says, um, whether you hate him or you love him. Um, we need to know this is a very powerful person who may uh, come out as a hero and who may end up in prison. I don't know. But I want to know what you think about one thing. The evidence that's per, then, that's been presented in these hearings, whether you think it's a sham or you think it's legitimate, because again, in critical thinking, we put emotion aside. It's emotionless thinking. It takes mental toughness to be a critical thinker. And that's why there are so, in my opinion, so few of them out there. Listen, go on Fox News, go on MSNBC. Those are probably the, the extremes um, in terms of presenting the news. And you can tell what they do. They both do it. They all do it. They present their side. And they, these people are more entertainers than they are journalists. Unfortunately, that's what we have right now. We as citizens, I think, have to be critical thinkers and stand up or we're not going to have a country. I mean, we're, we're falling apart here and we're, we're getting farther apart because it's all hype and sensationalism. So I want to know, here's my question for you. And I appreciate you um, digging into this because I think we need to have this, this open, honest discussion without attacking each other, without these personal ad hominem attacks that children do. Children act like bullies. Children attack each other personally when it has nothing to do with, with the person the person themselves. It has to do with what, what the facts are. Critical thinkers look at evidence. We look at facts. We don't look at emotion. And that's why critical thinkers are the smartest people on the planet because they control their emotions. So with that said, um, I'd like to know what you think about these hearings and hopefully you're watching them. Even if you think they're the biggest sham in the world, I would really suggest watching them. We, we need to watch these hearings. If you can't watch them during the day, you're working or whatever, watch them on YouTube. I mean, there's a lot. There's, and again, if you think they're a sham or you think they're, they're, they're accurate. And then I'd like to hear what you think in terms of evidence, either for the investigation or against it, and what you have to say about that. I'd love to, to get a thread going here. Again, please be respectful to other people on this thread. We're not here to beat each other up. Um, we're here to, to just have a, a robust, intelligent, critical thinking discussion. So thanks for engaging and I'll look forward to reading your comments.